learning to tell the time. We've learned o'clock. We've learned quarter past. We've learned half past. And we've learned a quarter to. Have you noticed these little dots? We're going to count them today and see how many minutes there are in one hour. So how long does it take for the minute hand to go all around the clock? I brought our beads here. We're going to need these. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That's another five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Can you see a pattern here? One, two, three, four, five. 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 What are you noticing? One, two, three, four, five. I wonder how many this will be. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Wow, can you see that between each number are five minutes? Let's see how many five minutes. Or let's count how many minutes are in an hour. Let's collect them all. Can you count in fives with me? Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Wow, there are 60 minutes in an hour. It takes one hour for the minute hand to do a full rotation around the clock. So if this is 12 o'clock, it will take one hour before it's one o'clock. That's pretty useful to know.